All right, this is my third commentary. I'm trying something different right now. Well, not really too different. Um, I noticed that like my voice wasn't very loud on any of my commentaries, so I decided that I would use my cell phone. See how it works. So this is a gameplay by a Clutch on Onslaught Capture MLG. <laughs> um, I have watched this game before. It's pretty insane. Clutch is an awesome player and I hope he finds the right team. I don't think it's working out on Heaven and Earth for him. So, let's uh, start talking about the game. He's putting a lot of shots on people and cleaning up kills, team shooting. A lot of people might call this um, kill stealing, but in Halo there really is no kill stealing. It's team shooting. Like, Think about how many shots it takes to kill someone. Four if you get the perfect shot. But with strafe, a lot of these players have awesome strafe. And it's hard to hit the fourth and final headshot. So, imagine how much easier it is, even if it's from across the map, someone is shooting at the same player you're in a BR battle with. It just makes it a whole lot easier. So, um, he's trying to spawn trap them right here, and he gets a nice double kill. And he killed them on that side, so they're bound to spawn on the other side. He checked, and he got another kill out of it. So this is when he was on the lead to hype, and this is against Under the Influence, so... This gameplay is a couple months old, but still pretty sick. So, now he's in a BR battle, which he wins. Um, he's on quite the killing right now like figuratively I don't mean like the five kills you know what I mean <laughs> so now he's just trying to regain his health and someone comes and kills him but he wants to stay alive so he can get a bigger spree going on and something that will really help any player out is you want to be like unpredictable that'll help any player out no matter what like if you can shoot at someone from an unpredictable place, you'll catch them off guard, and you'll just be able to do a whole lot more. Like, putting shots from window there. That's not something many people do. And the front jump on this map is very useful, but Clutch fails it there. <laughs> so he gets the running riot, which is 15 kills in a row without dying. It's too bad you can't get a perfection in this game type like in objective game type. But, so he catches Twilight on the spawn here and Demon D finishes him up. People don't realize how important assists are. I'd rather get 15 assists and 5 deaths than 50, 5 kills, sorry, than 15 kills and 5 assists. Because that means you're a teamwork oriented player. Or it just means you can't finish any of your kills, but still. And top control on this map is really important. If you can get control of top mid, which is what Cloud seems to do, you can um, control their spawns and pull the flag and get flag catch captures. So uh, Clutch just died for the first time, which is too bad. I would have liked to seen him have gotten the rampage, but what are you gonna do? So it's uh, three nothing in the flag cap. It's been a pretty good gameplay from Clutch so far. Another thing for newer players is you want to push as a team. Like obviously right there he caught him off guard off of the spawn, but like if you push into their base alone when they're coming off of a spawn, you're just gonna die. If you push in as a team, you can have a team shot and you'll be able to kill more players obviously and take control of their base and once you have control of their base they're either forced to spawn A side or B side and then you can just take them out from there so he picks up the double kill and trades beat down and this game's about to come to an end I believe Maniac putting the flag in. And Maniac gets the final flag cap right about here.